This is a preview of our 9th of March granary sale, which is next Wednesday. Uh, and I thought last month was the largest sale we ever had, and we've done it again, and it's nearly 1,700 lots to sell in one day for next week. So there's masses again. So what I'm gonna do slightly differently this time, we'll have a quick overview of the whole place. So I'll give you a quick run round and look at all the tables and all the furniture, and you can sort of see what sort of quantity we've got coming up to sale, and I'll point out some things that are worth looking at. So we start here, so these are the first lots in the sale where we start at nine o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, we've got the added bonus of the BBC Antiques Road Trip coming to this sale. So they'll be here from, from nine o'clock as well. So if you're able to come along, that would be something, something to watch. So there's a few lots in this sale from the road trip. Uh, coming along the first table here, this is what we categorise as the metalware tables here. So there's lots of interesting old clocks and antique tools here, some beautiful woodworking tools that a wonderful um, sort of what about 1900 um, plane there and that's one little group of planes and there's another little group in one lot as well and these um, these planes are all as separate items here We've got nice old top hats whizzle on the table here all sorts of interesting things to look at and then we and then we go into the cabinet from there. So there's lots of um, boxfuls of interesting things to look through here. There's medals and coins, more hand tools there as well. There's an interesting um, plane here for turning little spindles or something. I'm not quite sure that, what that is for turning pencils. <laughs> that's, how, that's how they're made. Um, so that's in there. Again, lots of boxfuls of things here. Something that everyone needs in their home is a case of tuning forks. There we are, look at that. Fantastic quality um, set of those. Um, more things in the cabinets here. Very cute pair of handmade 19th century um, wooden sold clogs with leather tops. Don't they, Don't they look comfortable? <laughs> little children's shoes there, send them to school in those interesting things. Um, and then we move from there, we've got Hermes scarves here as well, silk scarves. Quite a few lots of those. And we move on down the table here, lots more metalware and interesting things. Uh, a lantern that looks like it's from Dracula's castle. There's a lovely bronze here actually I saw earlier, which is um, a bronze of, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it was Apollo or Mercury, but uh, it's a 19th century bronze there. They're not a reproduction, that one. It's a good thing. There's no signature on it, but it's got a good colour. Um, that'll probably make sort of 100 to 150 pounds, something like that. Um, magic lantern there, Victorian sort of slide projector. Lots more interesting things and clocks and light fittings and mammoth steam cars. I thought this was nice. It's a, um, it's a clock here, it's a 19th century French clock. And on the top, it's got this alabaster carving. That's quite something, isn't it? And then we move around here, past this cheerful chap standing in the corner. And then we move around here and it gets a bit tight for space around here. Lots of boxes of things, engineers' cabinets with tools. Look at this box of um, interesting tin plates, toys and things in there. So that's one box full, but it'll, it'll all be sold as one lot there. So all, all tin plate things there. They're always very popular. Another box full here that I spotted, which is all Victorian, a few later things, Victorian textiles in there. So there's a nice um, lace embroidered um, night dress there and christening gowns and all sorts, so that'll again be sold as one lot. And we've got wine and old radios and all sorts. So we'll whiz down here. There we are, lots of things here. Then we've got lots more things under the tables over there. I think in all, probably about 500 lots of metalware to sell first. Then we go onto the china tables, which are down here. We don't usually explore the china tables, but there's there's so much this time. So there's shelves full of it over here. 
um, all sorts, mainly sold in group lots really, if you look down the table here, sort of uh, end of the day glass fish, all, all one collection there, and there's another group over here, another shoal of those fish, um, carnival glass lusterware there, and then group lots of these stoneware flagons and jars, good decorative items aren't they? 1935 flagon there. So, so we go up and down these tables, sell all this china as quickly as we can. Lots of things. And then, so and then we move on to the silver and plate, which is cabinets and tables full of silver and plate, which takes us to about a thousand lots this month. So before lunchtime we've got to sell a thousand lots. So we'll be flying through the sale. Then we're on to the furniture section, so we'll have a quick run around the, around the furniture and I'll show you what there is to sell. So if you've never actually been to one of the sales, it's a bit of a race to get through it. So we'll start somewhere around here, I think. Masses of furniture. Oh, we we'll start here, don't we? Well, 1,030 is the first number in the furniture. So three of these 19th century Victorian... Uh, 19th century mahogany hall chairs, all in one lot. Got a number of these butcher's blocks in this time, all sorts of sizes. So there's a nice vintage one there, a nice small size one with a knife block on the back as well. Uh, there's another one a bit further down there. There's a, a seven foot long one a bit further on the front row there. And I've seen several others dotted around the place. There's absolutely loads of furniture. We'll just do a quick run around here as well. Very good quality um, oak chest of drawers there. Solid oak as well, all the linings are oak. Another butcher's block there. The floors are straining this time under the weight of all this. Nice Victorian pine linen press. And then we come around the corner, around the back row. And again, it gets a bit tight round right here, and it's just avenues of furniture here. So we go up and down the rows here, and it's piled high. And there's some really nice things, nice pieces of antique furniture and some modern furniture, and good things for upcycling in that lot as well. And we have a look down this, down this aisle, it gets even tighter around here. Look at this, it's just in this row here, you've got an 18th century long case clock. Um, Victorian writing desk, that's a nice thing there, look at that, with, with uh, freeze drawers and a Victorian chest of drawers there. And then, it's definitely worth actually looking closely at down these rows. There's just so many things wedged in here. And big dining tables. And, um, and then behind here there's a a barrel organ, which is I'm too sure what this is really. It's a Victorian uh, coin operated musical machine. So you can see there's a large drum here with pins on it that, that play all these play these hammers and it's got drums as well and cymbals. Quite a, a rare thing I think and it's got this glass panel that sits on the front. There it is, so um, it's a French maker's plaque on there as well. And it's got a coin mechanism on the side here. Magnificent thing. And then we come down the a bit further down here, past this old lovely oak dresser here. It's a nice small size one. Down to these huge industrial chests of drawers. So a pair of these. Well, they're great features for a kitchen if you've got space for something like that. So a wonderful pair of those. More 19th century chests here. Butcher's block again. Every corner is a butcher's block. And another barrel organ. And we've got lots of garden things here. Pots and all sorts here. And more furniture around there. And that's it. And then we pause for just a moment and we're going to have a quick look upstairs. Here we are and then we continue upstairs. So then we've got another 
probably 300 lots to sell up here. So this is all newly roofed and decorated upstairs here. And you can see rows and rows of furniture up here. And some really interesting things. You can hear the rain hammering down outside. Um, there's quite a lot of retro designer furniture up here, so it's always well worth a look. There's some really nice um, Lloyd Loom dining chairs in there. They're extremely expensive to buy new. Hundreds of pounds each, though. But, um, so lots and lots of furniture up here. By the time we get upstairs here, it'll be five or six o'clock in the afternoon, and we'll probably go on till about half seven in the evening. And the last section is the pictures. So we just have about uh, maybe 70 or 80 lots of pictures to sell in this sale. So it's all happening next Wednesday. As I said, it's starting at nine in the morning, and it goes on till, till late at night. Now the viewing is slightly different this time because it's a bank holiday weekend. So we're here uh, Saturday morning, nine till 11, and then obviously Monday we're closed the bank holiday then we're open Tuesday from 9 till 7 and on the morning of the sale we're here from 8 in the morning but as I said the antiques road trip will be here as well filming from 9 o'clock in the morning so that's when the sale starts so hope to see you then thank you